Okay, hello, this is um, day number two of this daily target setup where I'm doing three days, taking three uh, three days with a break, and then coming back for four days, taking three days with a break, and then three days uh, playing, three days off, four days playing, three days off. Well, that is the plan of attack. This is what I used to do years ago a month, uh, um, uh, across up to 10 casinos. And I used to go for this target. And I used to start with £100 instead of 80 Um, But here we go. So I've got 84 87 I did my free spins. I didn't pay anything today. So uh, staying with the 84 87 Looking to make 450 if I can. To get to 89 37 So 89 37 is going to be my stop. So I'm going to hide the sheet uh, for now. And then I'm going to use the quadrant roulette tool. Click on the single zero table. I'm playing lightning roulette. One of the worst tables to play, to be fair. This is the worst type of table to play, just so you know. I'll repeat that again. Worst table. Statistically speaking, this is the worst one to play. I'm giving it a blast just to see if I can catch either a multiplier or get my target. So I'm going to input the history of numbers into the tool from this table. And I'm going to try and uh, pick out an area to bet on. That will give me the returns and hopefully um, land a couple of wins really fast. That will give me my, my return. 26, 35, 24. Right, so I'm just going to go straight for quadrant 2 because you're not hit for 14 spins in a row. Neighbours by four on number 21. This is my first bet. It's a £1.80 pence bet. 20 pence per number. Nine numbers covered. I'm on 21 with four pockets either side. This is quadrant number two because it's not hit for 14 spins in a row. Any of these numbers. Those nine numbers have not hit for 14 spins in a row. Not guaranteed to get the hit, by the way. I've got 34. If 34 lands, that's a multiplier. That'll put it... 27. Close. Click 27. I'm going to repeat the bet. Same stake, 20 pence. I thought that was going to hit 34 then. <laughs> um, I'm on my second bet for quadrant number two. For 15 spins, it's not hit those nine numbers in a row. Now, 12 numbers can go missing for twice that amount of 15 to 30 spins. So, this is not uncommon. If you think it, they can't go missing for that length of time, they can. They can go missing for longer. So please be aware of that. I don't have any of those. Second bet, let's go. Number 10 is the miss. 16 spins without a hit on the second quadrant. This is now my third bet, flat rate. I start increasing the stake on my fourth bet. My fourth bets, when I start to increase, I start adding chips to um, any quadrant. That I'm placing a bet on. So at this point, it won't get me into enough profit for me to stop. I will need to get two hits. Unless I get a hit with a multiplier, then I will be able to stop. But um, the reason why this is a bad table is because I have to have so many losses before I get the win. I've got to put money into it before I get money out of it. That's typically what you're going to see on this game. This is, this is exactly what you're going to see. So this is the fourth bet. Repeat, double up. So every time I lose, I'm going to re repeat the bet and add another 20 pence to 21 and the neighbours. This is my fourth bet. My fourth bet will give me the same returns as my first bet on a 20p stake. But you only get 29.499 to 1 on a straight up without a multiplier on this setup. I don't have any of those. So I'm looking for 32 to 34, 21 neighbour, quadrant 2, just to the right of zero. And that was looking pretty good, briefly. 13. Repeat, add a chip. There you go. So £5.40, £70.47. This is why this table is the worst. Um, I've, I'm having that many losing spins already. It's cost me enough money already. Bad idea. Right. 
So here we go. This could be a hit. Have a little bit of luck. No, look at it. Miles away again. Absolutely miles away. Repeat the bet. Had a chip. So I have to get lucky now by hitting with a multiplier to give me my money back and a little bit of profit. Or hit more than more than um, t uh, three times probably now to get into where I need to be. Which is why this table is the worst ever table to play. There's no better demonstration of that than this now. 21. I've got 21 with 100x on it. That's my centre bet. 36. That's a miss. I didn't even see that land. Didn't see it spin. Right, I'm at a one pound now. So if this misses, because I'm at a pound and I started off at 20 pence, and I'm at one one pound per number, the next bet will be 40 pence per number extra. And I'll do that for two spins. Although technically speaking, I should do it for one spin. Then I add 60 pence per number. But we'll just give it one more spin after this at 40 pence extra. But I'm giving it way too many chances. I've got 15, 50x. But six at uh, thirty forty no fucking hell. Started with eighty four, I'm down at forty one. Again, I cannot stress enough. Dozens can go well. Quadrants can go missing quite a long time. 21 spins without a hit. That's just nine numbers. All those nine numbers in a row haven't hit for 21 spins. How nuts is that? This has to hit. This has to hit. To give me a little bit of money back. How nuts. 32 to 34. 21 neighbour. Right, that's hit 19. But that took a lot of doing to get that. And I'm still not in profit, even though that's hit. So 8 and 7 is 1 point, 3 and 2. I'm going to go and use the same quadrant. I'm going to go with the same quadrant here, quadrant number 2. So what I'm doing here is because it's not hit that quadrant for 20-odd spins and it's just hit landed now, I'm going to stick with that quadrant to hit again. So I'm starting again because this is going to get me now into profit. I've got four. If four hits is the neighbor of 21, which is quite uh, quite possible. Close to four, four, 19, I mean. Here we go. No. Ah. I think I'm just going to do it. 29. I'm going to repeat the bet. Same stake. Second bet for quadrant number two. So, you know, just be aware. It could have lost for, for more spins there. And that was getting right to the very end of my betting. That was my last actual bet for that quadrant to land. Um, I would have actually reduced the amount of neighbour numbers and increased the stakes on numbers in that region. Do I have any levels? I'm on quadrant 2. 21 neighbour. And it's looking good. It was looking good. It, it hit zero. That's a miss. That's not good. <laughs> Ugh, right. Repeat the bet. Third bet now. For quadrant number two. So what I'm relying on here is because it's missed for so many spins on quadrant number two is that all the numbers in that quadrant two are going to start popping and, and generating and well, materialising and hitting. So that's that's the idea here. If this misses, my next bet will be a double up. Hitting now with a multi will do the business, but um, hmm. well, we've got two multis, four and thirty-four. Hundred x on thirty-four, fifty x on four. Oh, it's the other side is zero. Wrong side is zero. That's quite a high count. Double up now. So this is my fourth bet for quadrant number two. Second time round. Let's see how far down the rabbit hole we go this time. I would expect this to um, hit sooner. Hopefully on a multi. Well, this is lightning roulette for you. It's absolutely, it's really bad. 
32. I've got 32. 500x. Let's go. 500x on 32. Right, I've got 34. That is a win. Does that put me to profit? No, it do, it sort of does, but not where I need to be. 34 has just landed. I'm betting on that because it's got a yellow dot on it. I know I've got the win, but I'm still not where I need to be. I've covered the 34 by 4 now because there's a yellow dot on that number. Normally, I'll cover the 34 neighbours if I'm in play, like, say, quadrant one four or three and that 34 lands and uh, that's when i normally do it and if it misses it'll be 18 probably so i'm on 34 by four and if this hits i think i've got my target anywhere near 34 18 yeah 29 that's where it goes if i miss uh, right now i'm going to switch my position to quadrant one so this would be the second bet in total since I last had a hit. I'm still looking to try and try and try and just get one, you know, into profit by four pound fifty, and it's a bit of a struggle. And this is always going to be the case on this table unless I get lucky and hit with a multiplier within a few spins, which is not very often. It does do it, but not that often. So I'm on twenty-two to zero. Okay, that's good. That's a hit. Boom. 28. Bosh. I'm close to my target. Um, 28. I'm going to go with the same bet. Here we go. I was at 88 something there. I could have stopped actually and took a little bit less than £4.50, but now I'm on this game. I'm kind of invested in it a little bit more now. I want to get that hit. I'm, dri I'm driven a little bit more than I would normally be to get this hit now. So I'm still on uh, quadrant one. 28. If it hits 28 again, 28 does like to repeat on these air powered tables. 150x, I'll take that. Come on then. 0 to 22. 28 for jackpot. Nope, number 17. 17's uh, the number I bet on now because. It's lit up with a yellow dot. Quite often on the air powered tables, you'll see it go back to that range of numbers. If it misses there, it'll go over to 18, 29, 22. So it'll go here if it misses here. I could bet on 18, 29, 22, but I just like picking only a few numbers. So 17 there, but not have any of them. So anywhere near 17, I think I've done it then. Oh, hello, where are you going? 28, neighbour. Oh, we should have stuck with that now. So, let's have a quick look. We're going to go back to quadrant. Uh, is this my third bet? I'm going to double up. I've doubled up. I've, I've doubled up because I think it's going to hit again near 7. So I'm on 0 to 22, quadrant 1 again. So I had I had to go with the yellow dot on the 17. It missed, so and it, it landed on quadrant 1, but it doesn't matter. Matt, it's probably going to go back to this region, hopefully. This will be a stop if it hits. 0 to 22. No, where are you going? 1, fuck. This is just rinsing me, isn't it? 11, 2. Let's go quadrant 3. So I'm doing 40 pence on quadrant 3. Uh, try and get back up again. really want to hit with a multi, really. But you can see how many spins I've had. And I've not hit a multiplier. And none, none of the multis have landed yet, either. So that would be the reason why for, the, for that. But um, hmm. no multis at all. So 6 through to 10, 11, neighbour. Quadrant 3. Ah. Oh, Fucking typical. It's gone back to where I was betting and it really pisses me off that. Right, 60 pence per number. 60 pence per number on quadrant three, but this is a bit of an epic. 
I mean, for 40 minutes, 14 minutes is way too long to spend on a game and not get to your target value. So when I get that three to go opposite to number 30, come on, come on, number 30, 30 neighbor. Okay, I've got eight. Eight's a good number. 100x on eight, give us that. And that'll set me up for the rest of this um, series if it hits me eight, potentially. 11 neighbor. Oh, hello. Ah, 20. Hit the wrong thing. So 30, quadrant three is not hit for 13 spins. And again, not guaranteed to be hit either. Because it could, could go to 21 spins, like quadrant two went to 21 spins before hitting. I know 27 landed earlier, and uh, I don't think, yeah, there's nothing else has landed since, has it? So let's see if we can get a hit. Get as a multi. No multis. Not good. Not good. Six through to ten. Eleven neighbor. two pockets away from a hit really frustrating i want to do 15 you don't know how much i want to do the 15 now so this is now a 20 this is a 40 pence increase on this bet but you don't know how much i really want to do the, the 15 19 32 0 and 4 and the 24 neighbor 24 neighbor and 15 neighbor i really want to be jumping all over that as a combo But I want this to land as well. Again, there's no multis. Not good. Not good. So 11 neighbor. This is going to miss, yeah. There's my 15, 24, 15 combo. You don't know how much I wanted to fucking land and hit that one. Oh, now I'm going to change my bet because I spent too much on that to... 15 and 35 and double up. So now I'm using a little bit of my combo bets outside of the tools. Outside of the tool, I've done the 15 by one, the 24 by one, and the 35 by one. I've added 35 because um, one of my uh, subscribers goes from 15 to 35. So I've chosen 35 and neighbor as well as the 24 and 15. And it's 31, which is a bloody typical. But this table is it's really, really bad. 13 neighbor. So I'm just pretty, I'm just going to put one pound on that. I'm going to do zero of a neighbor as well. So I'm on zero. I'm down to 37 pound. I'm on zero by one. And I'm on 13 by one. I mean, this is why this table is shit. It's really fucking bad. Any any other table I would have hit by now. I got my target. It's because I'm, and I kid you not, by that I would have got my targets easily now. So I've just done a few numbers there that I think might land. I've done two pockets either side of the 29. So I've done the 28 and the 22. 28, 22. And I've done 0, 26, 32. And I've done the... Uh, that's it. Six numbers. Twenty-two. There we go. Two pockets to the side. And that's got me... The hit on that 22. I'm not too sure. So 22. I'm now going to go quadrant 3. With a pound. So quadrant three with a pound, eleven neighbor. Oh, we got we got number eight, eight with a two hundred x on it. If 
after that lands, this is going to be nuts. Come on, number eight. That'll do 27's a hit. Boom. Thank you. How much have we got? 82. Back to 82. But this is taking far, far, far too long. This is taking a ridiculous amount of time to get this. I'm on quadrant one because that's hit 17 times in 38 spins. So just under half the amount of spins we've had have been hitting between 0 and 22. Don't have any of those. Still looking to get to 89.37. 89.37. 22 to 0. Oh, that was not good. That was not good. That was a bad, bad thing. That was. I'm going to do zero neighbours now. So I'm on zero neighbours because of the 11. Tracking all the way around to the the 11. It, the ball it sort of went in and sort of jogged right around to 11. I think this is going to go to zero. Or the four. This is my second bet. So I'm doing a little bit of what the tool's showing and a bit of experience. Here we go. Four, I've got the four. That's the key number here, I think, four or the zero. Nope, number 18. I should have stuck over there. Urgh. This is really annoying. 18, 32. I'm going to repeat the bet and double up here. So I'm on zero by four, and I think the 18 is going to go to 32. Because the 24 went to 15, which was a combo, I think 18, which is another combo, 1832 is a combo. Come on, 32. If this hits, I've got my target, and then I can uh, finish that day. There we go, 15. I've got 15 next door to 32, so it might hit the 32. Oh, two. I don't have two. That's a little bit annoying. Two to 10. So I'm going to split my bets up now. 10 and 0. There we go. 10 and 0 uh, by 2. So I've done 10. I've done 10 with two pockets out of the side and 0 with two pockets out of the side from the 2. So 2 to 10. In fact, I probably should have added the 22 in as well. Anyway, I've got 8. Which is the two pockets that are side of the 10. So 10, 0 by 2. 10 numbers. And if this hits, it's a stop. 12, I'm going to add 12. Uh, 12. So it's put all those numbers in. So 14, 32, 50. I'm going to do all the numbers it's not yet hit. So 32, 15. 15 landed before, didn't it? I think. 4, 21, 30. I'm not going to get my bets on fast enough. So I'm doing all the numbers that I haven't yet got a little white ball on them. Yeah, 15. I should have clicked on that before. Let's get rid of that because it's in the history. Oh, 21. Hit 21. 40, oh, nearly 30, nearly 14, it thought about it. So 15's already been out. 21, 25, uh, 30, 23, 5, 14. There we go. So all those numbers have yet to hit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight numbers. Yeah, that's right. All the numbers that haven't yet hit, I'm betting on. Seven, that's landed. So I'm going to keep the flat rate for the time being. That's uh, eight numbers. So I can do eight numbers. Three times at a flat before a double up. This could be a multi. Oh, the last spin was a multi. Change of dealer. So I've got close to getting to my target, which I could have stopped at, but I've carried to put. I carried on to 
because I wanted to get into profit because I played for long enough that I wanted to get that hit to boost my balance. So I feel like I've played enough and put enough in this to get my hits. There we go, I've got all three of those. And we've got a real good chance of hitting one of these now. 4, 14, 25, multi, let's go. 28, there's a miss. Repeat the bet. I will double up, not yet, uh, on the next bet. So I'm doing the numbers that I have yet to land. 32, 4, 21, 25, 30, 23, 5, 14, just those numbers. Those two, four, six, eight numbers. 50 pence per number. I need to hit one of those with a multi. I had three of those in that last spin with, with the multipliers and none of them landed. Every time I get one, I'll remove, I'll remove it off the table. Thirty-two. There's one. There's a hit. Boom. So thirty-two. I can remove that. Repeat. In fact, we'll leave it out there just in case it repeats for one spin. Then we'll remove it. So if I if I hit on all the rest of the numbers, um, with a few misses in between, I should get my target. Ooh, come on. Hit another with a multi. There we go. We've got that. Number 25. 32, 25, 100x. Let's go. I smash my target. Number 25. Thirty-three, don't have thirty-three. That's already been out. Now I'm going to get rid of the thirty-two. So I've got seven numbers out there now. And if I hit, um, if I hit two of these, I should get my target. Two in a row when I've done. I've got my target, or one hitting with a multi. I've got my target. <clears throat> so I'm on numbers 4, 21, 25, 30, 23, 5, and 14, 6, 500x. Nineteen, next to four, unlucky. Retreat. Uh, I'm gonna start increasing it by twenty pence. I was had a little bit of twenty p on that, next to twenty pence. Four pounds ninety. I just want to make sure if I hit it, it's going to give me a little bit extra. I don't really need to increase it. That was pretty pretty much a bad move there. Unless it hits. Right, I've got fourteen. Five hundred x on fourteen. I just increased it as well. Hit that one. Hit the fourteen. Come on. Five hundred x. No, zero. I bet it's fourteen next. It's costing me four ninety per spin. So because there's only seven numbers remaining, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that are left to hit, it's gonna fill in these gaps like that thirty two landed before. Uh, that was three spins ago. So within two more spins I would expect to see another hit. It's usually within five spins of having had a hit. On the numbers that I haven't yet hit, you get another one. Oh well, it depends on if you've got how many numbers you've got out there as well, I suppose. Combination of that. So I would expect to hit on this spin or the next. One off. It's just dying to hit that 14, isn't it? So I could have done the neighbour numbers of these numbers. That might have been a better bet. So the neighbour of four, because 19 landed before. Could have done four neighbour, 21 neighbour, um, 30 neighbour, 23 neighbour, 5 neighbour, 14 neighbour. I could do that. I might do that if I get down to six numbers. And I'll reduce the stake a little bit. Come on, hit that 14.
25. Got that? There we go. Boom. That's another one of my numbers. Gets me to 68. Fantastic. Um, I am going to cover now. I'm going to change. The, well, I'm going to repeat the bet. I'm going to, I'm going to repeat the bet. I want to cover 25 neighbor. Because it's going to hit the neighbor to 25 here. Probably. Or go across to 18. Because the number, the, the 25's got a yellow dot on it. I would normally cover four pockets either side of that number. But it, if it misses, it goes over to 18 neighbor. Go nine twelve might hit the nine if he was twenty near the twenty two isn't it nineteen look neighbor of four wow that is on fire right get rid of the uh twenty five and we'll just carry on with the rest of the numbers So what I'm hoping for is a multiplying hitting number on a number that hasn't yet hit on this wheel uh, since I've started recording the data. So 421, 23, 5, 30 and 14. No. Nope. 21, that's another hit look. 21, boom. Sweet. So I can get rid of the 20, well, we'll leave it out there for one more bet in case it repeats. And because we're going to be taking it off, I'm going to do the neighbor numbers at 20 pence stake either side of the numbers that are left to hit. So 30, 23, 5, 14, and the 4 with one number either side. And I'll put a little bit extra on the numbers that I have still yet to hit. Right, come on, number 4. 4, if this hits. I've got my target. Eight. Boom. There you go. Oh, I don't have eight. Yeah, I do. No, I don't. It's the neighbor number of eight. <laughs> That's what I've got. So, four. Four. Uh, what do I need? 30 and five. Whoops. Ah, fuck. Made a mistake. This is where it could go wrong now because I made a mistake. Four. I'm on four neighbor. I should have been on that 30 and the 23 because H just been a multiplier again. And it might hit the neighbor of eight. It could hit the neighbor of 30. Don't be 11 because I would have had that. 15. Oh, nearly got another hit there. Oh. Four, five, thirty, twenty-three. Ah, I need to add an extra to the single numbers. I only got two of them. Making a right ball codswalloper there. Making a right balls a pig's ear with this. I'm making fucking screwing this up. Although I've got nineteen and twenty-four. 32, don't have that, one too many, in fact a couple too many, repeat the bet, add 23, add the 30, uh, 23, 35, 14, there we go, right, there we go, that's my bet, it's costing me £4, I've got 40 pence on the numbers that I have yet to hit, 4 30, 23, 5, and 14, and I've done one number either side of each of those numbers. So I'm on 19, and look at that, 400x. 19 and 21, 400x on 21, let's go. Hitting any of them gets me to my target. 36. What's going on? Beat the bet. Down at 64. I want to get to 89, 37. Look how long I've played this for now. This is what. This is why I don't play this game. I don't play this table because of this fact. Any of my roulette tools would have generated my target already by now. I would have easily got it. I've got 23. I've got 23. I'll have that. 8. I've got the 8. There we go. 
76, sweet. Repeat the bet, same stake, I'm not going to increase it, but 8 is a good one because it covers the 30 and the 23 by 1, so that's a pretty good win that. So if it hits anywhere near 8 again now, this will be job done because I'll have 89, 37 or greater I think. Multi. Give me a multi here. Okay. 34. Right, 34 has landed. It's probably going to go to 34 or 18. I'm going to switch my bet. So I've done 34 by 2 and 18 by 2 and 34 and 18 are my jackpots if this misses i'll revert back to the numbers that I have yet to hit the 4 30 23 5 14. so i'm looking for 34 or 18 as my jackpots and the two went to 21 look right 21's good i know it's a miss but it's good 4, 30, 23, 5, 14, I've doubled up on this, so now I'm on um, numbers that I've not hit with one number neighbour either side, so 14 is a jackpot, if that hits, sweet. We're done. Come on, 14. 14? Yes, jackpot. That's a multiplier. Fantastic. £140 now. That smashes my target. 14 did the business. That is me done. That's what I wanted to be to see on this setup and this series. But it took a long time coming. And that's what it does normally take a long time coming. But now I've got 140 77. I used the quadrant roulette tool for the majority of that time. I'm going to input my 140 77 into the sheet I've just made £55 £55 90 pence profit uh, my target was £4.50 I smashed it so tomorrow when I come back I'll have £140.77 to play with uh, or and any extras if I get any extras uh, from this casino which is pretty good. So that was day two sorry but that took an absolute age to do. Start with 84.87 on day two um, and I took it to 140.77 hitting with a multi on 14 which hadn't hit for a long time. Take note of that information. Okay, thanks again for your time. Thanks for tuning in. See you tomorrow.